Hello everyone, in this video I am just going to talk about the various varieties of timers available in the microcontroller TM4C123GH6PM. Let's get started. So basically timers are peripherals that is available in almost every microcontroller which is useful for producing time delays or it is a simple device which counts time. So it is used or employed in various applications for generating pulses and producing time delays that is accurate time delays and many more applications like counting the frequency of pulses etc. So these are all the some of the applications of timers and now let us try to understand the timers that is internally available in the microcontroller series TM4C123 that is Texas Tiva series microcontroller. So basically we are having 12 number of timers available in this microcontroller and in these 12 timers 6 timers are 16 bar 32 bit timers that is 6 timers can be utilized as 16 bit timers or as a whole of 32 bit timers and among the 12 timers another 6 timers are 32 bar 64 bits timer that is each individual timer in these 6 timers can be acting as a 32 bit timer and as a whole it can act as a 64 bit timers so this 16 bit timers of 16 bar 32 bit timers are subdivided into timer A and timer B and each timer is a 16 bit timer and in these 6 timers on the right are also having 2 different timers timer A and timer B and they are also 32 bit timers each and as a whole you can just configure and use these two timer A and timer B for acting as a 32 bit timer on the left or 64 bit timers on the right and these 64 bit timers on the right are also called as white timers in this microcontroller. In addition to these 16 bits of timers available in the left these 6 timers are having a 8 bit prescalar. So adding on to the 8 bit prescalar to the 16 bit timer this individual 16 bit timers that is timer A or timer B can be used as a 24 bit timer and on the right you can see the 32 bit or 16 bit timers are also having a 16 bit prescalar and each individual timer timer A and timer B on the right can act as a 48 bit timer individually. And if you are not requiring a 64 bit timer, you can just use a 48 bit timer on the right. If you are not requiring a 32 bit timer on the left, you can use individual timers as 24 bit timer. So these are all the variants of timers available and the varieties of timer modes available are one sort mode and periodic mode. So one sort mode is nothing but when the timer starts it will be counting up or counting down based on the configuration and if it is a up counter it will be counting up from 0 to a set value and if it is a down counter the timer will be counting from a particular set value to the number 0 and if it reaches the 0 value the one sort mode in timer will be stopped forever and again when you start the timer manually using the software it will be running from a pre-programmed value to zero and a similar case happens in periodic mode also but here since it is a periodic mode timer after reaching the set value or the number in down counter mode it will be again running from the beginning so this happens every time until the timer is stopped in periodic mode so this is the basic difference between one sort mode and periodic mode that is in one sort mode the timer counting happens only once and in periodic mode the timer counting will be happening again and again until the timer is stopped and the basic counter modes of the timer are up counter mode and down counter mode 
that is in up counter mode the timer will be counting from 0 to a set value and in down counter mode the timer will be counting from a particular set value to the number 0. And let us discuss about the pseudocode of the timer configuration function that we have to do for initializing and running our timer. As the first step in this function, we just want to enable the clock for the timer used. So for all the peripherals available in this microcontroller, we have to enable the clock for the peripheral for proper functioning. Even if it is a SPI or I2C or serial communication or even a counter or even a simple GPIO that you are using, you just want to enable the clock for that peripheral. As the first step, we just want to enable the clock for the timer peripheral that you want to configure. The second step is we just want to disable the timer before configuring. So I don't want the timer to be running when I am configuring. So I am just doing this. The third step is we just want to select the resolution of timer either 16 bits or 32 bits. The fourth step is we just want to select the timer mode either one shot mode or periodic mode and then we just want to choose whether up counter mode or down counter mode. So these two configuration modes has to be chosen and then we just want to set the interval load register value from which the timer has to be running in down counter mode or up to which value the timer counter must be running in up counter mode and then we just want to clear the interrupt flag of the timer and we just want to enable the timer for starting the timer counter once the timer counter has started we just want to wait for the interrupt to be occurring that is timer interrupt to be occurring so we will be using a separate timer interrupt subroutine function for all the actions that we want to do in our program using timer. So that we will discuss in detail in the next video where we will be configuring the timer for producing accurate time delays in our program. So that's all about the pseudocode required for configuring any timer in this microcontroller. So in this video, I hope you learned what are all the variants of timers available in the microcontroller TM4C123 and you understood how you can configure a particular timer 